All right, welcome back. We are back here. Hopefully, no more technical difficulties, and we're diving straight in to this fifth round, of course. In case you forgot, in the long six-minute wait, we are here with a two-to-two -two scenario. Space Force and Silent but Deadly. The teams have got their water. They're ready. And they are nice and relaxed, I think, going to this one. They've had a bit of a sit-down, unfortunately. They want to keep things going, but they're back in it now, at the very least. Diesel is going to be the one leading this charge. I think he's getting pretty aggressive up this center passage. Going to be peeking the eastern side of the center market. There is one man. One man alone. Dark tunnel watching this alleyway. But he is going to have to either peek up or move into a different location above if he wants to have any chance of getting a direct line of sight onto Diesel as he approaches. And peeking this is going to be pretty dangerous. In fact, there's already pre-fire coming his way, though he does actually he does actually have a pretty good line of sight down here. He will not need to peek out much, but this pre-fire is getting scarily close to his head. Imagine he's getting uh, kind of uncomfortable with all these bullets. So far, it seems to be have moved over to that western side. There are two men, that being Bear Grylls and 4Q, watching the western courtyard, which I find is an interesting move. You've got Bear Grylls kind of stuck in, uh, I guess, that sickness spot, and this is also sickness spot at the same time. But 4Q and Bear Grylls taking sickness's positions. Super position sickness. They're sitting there waiting. But the brunt of the Space Force attack is going to be coming along that eastern side. You can see that there are two members rapidly converging on Dark Tunnel, and in fact, Lionheart's going to be the one to deal with him. I imagine Dark Tunnel is already aware of Lionheart's presence. And there must have been some footsteps or something, because he's certainly already looking up to that window and is kind of uh, spooked a little bit. Pre-fire is certainly getting kind of effective at spooking Dark Tunnel, I think. Certainly not random pre-fire. That's to say the very least. It's landing directly above multiple people's heads. From Dark Tunnel, they're probably hitting the wall next to Dr. Sean. Definitely hitting the walls by Bear Grylls. Nigma did manage to take down Driver of Car on that north side, which is going to give uh, Dark Tunnel a little bit of room for Lionheart. And unfortunately, Lionheart's going to take him down regardless. Now, this eastern side is clear. That's a very nice nade coming out from Dr. Sean. Bouncing off that wall almost... Actually, I think that might be an enigma. Bouncing off that wall almost took down Lionheart through the uh, through the window. Unfortunately, that was not to be. But it was to be that Diesel would take down Dr. Sean with that center kind of angle. There is still one man, that being Enigma, he's going to be looking for the refrag, I think. But he didn't quite see him, and he's moving back to the objective, the smart move. But Diesel's picking up Bear Grylls yet again. Enigma is going to be in a very bad spot, dancing around the objective here. There is one member moving up that western courtyard. 4Q is going to be ready for him, however. Yeah, they are. They both know each other's locations. But he looks away first, and he gets taken down. Now we're in a 2v2 scenario. Enigma has to see the guy in the center courtyard, but there is still that major threat of the smokes right next to him. And the fact that no one is covering the west side of the objective right now from the northern edge. He could actually slip straight through whoever this is next to him. Could do a walk straight to objective, that being Lionheart. This is not a good situation for Silent Deadly right now. In fact, I think that is exactly what he's going to be doing. But no, he really wants Enigma dead. He's going to be picking out when he does take him down. This is looking like a cap scenario then. Fulgur has to come in quick. Fulgur is already on objective, but Lionheart is too far back. I think he's hiding behind the counter. And he does take down Fulgur. He knew he didn't have enough time for that cap. So he went for that elimination instead. There we go. Seven kills, three deaths for Enigma now. The rain, I think, has slowed, and Lionheart's picking up the pace on the side of Space Force now. Though Diesel is also starting to get up there a little bit. Oh, this is certainly looking like a strong one for both these teams here. Both of them also like Suburbia. 
So seeing it being this close on Bazaar, I think definitely kind of influences my decision that they are very closely matched teams with similar origin stories as well. Oh man, I'm looking forward to these final rounds of this map here. With that center north objective yet again, this time with Silent But Deadly on the attack. I am expecting a very aggressive move. A very, very, very aggressive move. And if I don't see it, I'm going to be sad because I think Silent But Deadly are going to do that. My intuition is telling me they're going to be aggressive coming straight out of the gate here. Possibly smokes all on objective coming in from the eastern courtyard with a hard rush with uh, maybe uh, one or two coming through center, uh, the center courtyard. That is what I'm feeling here and uh, hopefully my my thoughts, my uh, predictions in fact, will come true. Here we go now into this sixth round, I believe. Yes, this is the sixth round now coming in. The tech issues do appear to have been resolved, so thank, thank all above for that. The tech issues are gone. OBS has resettled itself and has decided to start playing nice once again. Silent but deadly, I'm not getting the ideal spawn for that center and eastern push, not at all. Wow, this is an aggressive move, I think, coming out from uh, whoever that is there. Who is that? It's driver of car. It's not an aggressive move. I thought he was going into sickness spot. That would be an aggressive move. But he's, in fact, in the uh, second sickness spot. Maybe it's the honey half spot. It's someone on SMC Tactical is famously known for being there. I guess we can call this the honey half spot at the very least. The dumpster shooting over it using his height as an advantage. That's brutal. Look at that. The hollow site is trained directly on the pallet's corner. And Honeyhoff is having, I think he's like standing on his tiptoes or something. Because his aim is mighty, mighty shaky. Starting to hurt his arms. It's a sad time when your arms start hurting when you're trying to hold an angle in normal because you can't hold it forever. Aggressive smokes are starting to come out though. Bear Groves is going to have to be very cautious of driver of car's location right here. The shot's already coming out. There goes Bear Groves. Was seen by driver of car through the window. Also, there is one member. Two members, in fact, in the center. On the south of the courtyard, driver, driver of car has to see Dark Tunnel. But he ducks back. Dark Tunnel is going to be walking straight into death though. There he goes. Taken down immediately. But Dr. Sean's on a good he gets the cap. I didn't even realize two of them walked onto the objective in an instant and got the cap there. That is unbelievable. The lightning fast cap coming out from those two members. Silent but Deadly, Dr. Sean, Enigma, Bear Grylls, Dark Tunnel and 4Q, the amazing play of coordination, the aggression. I said it would happen and it happened indeed. My predictions always come true. Every single time. You just know I didn't get the East or West right, but I got the play right. And that's that's the best thing about it. Regardless of my uh, gloating of predictive abilities, I got that cap. And they take that first map from a nice 3-2 comeback. And they are ready for this. They're ready for this second map, whatever it may be. And it is looking like it may be... Uh, Maybe a little bit of quarantine. Yes, it does appear to be quarantine, so we can go over to the war room and uh, think about this pick for a little bit. Of course, if you forgot, the bands were not bizarre. The picks were rather were. The picks was bizarre. The second pick was not downfall. In fact, it was quarantine, and the bands are. The band, I don't know why the bands are doing that. That's kind of strange. I'm blaming OBS for this. But the bands were, in fact, Tanker and Snowpeak. 
despite the fact that it says it was a suburbia ban. Take no heed. Quarantine pick with the nice long and short range. I know 4Q is known to do some rather glorious nades on this map, so I'm certainly looking forward to that. This was Space Force's pick yet again, of course, as Silent but Deadly did choose Volk on that first map, so they will only have one map pick during this, and that's going to be the final map, whatever it may be. If it comes down to it, that could be the decider. We are just waiting for the second map to start getting into action here. The teams are in fact going in straight straight away. They're going in right now. No time to wait. No time to waste. First round of quarantine. The second map of Silent But Deadly versus Space Force is now commencing. Not where that goes. The famous last words. Potentially of Silent but Deadly. Hopefully not an A dropped in spawn. That would be very, very unfortunate. Oh, but Diesel could get in. Oh, they got out of the way just in time. I was about to say, potentially there could be a nasty firing line down this street here. When Diesel could pick off a few. But it was not to be. They moved out of the way just in time. There we go. Are just sneaking along? He's slowly but surely sneaking along there. He's feeling very apprehensive about breaching this roof, though. It's all clear. Doesn't quite know this. There does appear to be a rather, again, conservative defense on the side of Silent but Deadly, with the exception of, of course, that one member in the south, possibly Fork You. In fact, I'm going to say very likely Fork You. It's not Fork You, it's Enigma. The captain of Silent But Deadly. The 4Q is in a pretty aggressive position by the ambulance there. Both of them relatively aggressive for this objective. And potentially going to pay off big time. Oh. Oh, this is a dangerous one, I think. For Space Force. The northern push on this objective I have nothing but bad memories of. You have to send at least the bulk of your forces, I think, through the center. You know, maybe it's just uh, the teams I played in the past. They always had such strong northern defenses. Potentially the same thing we'll see here, though. You've got Dark Tunnel inside the uh, the rather dark tunnel of the engine. You've got Dr. Sean sitting in the East 2 story on the stairs. And you've got Bear Grylls proning under the cement trucks. Never seen someone take that position before. That's certainly an interesting one. Wings down. Oh, there we go. There goes Enigma. He got too aggressive peeking out there. And he was picked off. Though he is reservoir. You can see him slide down there. Very comically. I imagine 4Q is going to be peeling back for that revive. Once he knows he can't get the refrag immediately coming out from the rock. Ooh, a quick push from Lineheart, I'm hearing. I'm hearing words from Lineheart, and they are very much enticing, but I don't see how they could operate a quick push coming out from here. That, that, that would... I'd be amazed to see that.
Oh, and half's in position. Everyone's in position and waiting for something, I think. One down at Burning Building. Uh, if it's not too down, it's like we're we waiting a little up. bit too long. Certainly not something you want to do on this objective. You need to kind of capitalize on the time to kind of uh, not allow the flanks coming out from the Volk team, which is uh, something that tends to happen on this objective. Especially on the south there, for you again with the second pick onto Destructor after taking down Diesel. It's all about taking down the Ds today for 4 q it seems. It's the battle of the letters. It's a violent one for sure, and Lionheart may be the one to avenge his fallen comrades. Oh, he appears he's getting out of there. He wants no part in that. Oh, the famous 4 q name, full shot. I was excited for a moment, but it did not work out super well. Very unfortunate. Wow, this is a hell of a flank from uh, Honey Half around this northeast side here. He's going to take down Bear Grylls. He's not going to expect this at all. I didn't even expect this. This is a wild, wild move. One enemy down. The men tracks. There you go. In the call that he's taken down one. And that's going to be the call for action for the rest of Space Force here. Shots popping off over towards the East 2 story. He's not going to catch anyone. I'm not actually sure where he went. He appears to have vanished. Oh no, he came back to the objective. He's sitting by the tank now. Definitely a good rotation, but it spooked driver of cars so much from some, uh, from some earlier shots he took. That he's going to have to waste two utilities, maybe even three utilities, just to ensure there's no one coming out there. The nade kind of falls short. And driver of cars walking past Dark Tunnel. No way. Forky goes down from driver of Carbo at least. At the very least, there is a refray from Dark Tunnel now, leaving only two remaining members of Space Force. Dark Tunnel is aware. Lighthouse way back there as well. Lonnie, uh, Honey Half, rather, is in big trouble with Dark Tunnel from the engine. Almost called him Lonnie Half. Much, much more honey like the shots rang out it's a trade between the two that is an advantage for I don't know it's not silent it was I thought it was a uh, silent but deadly advantage but it was not he got the headshot at the last minute I think just as he fell very nice now we're just left with Linehart with 30 seconds remaining that is far from ideal Dr. Sean has to know he has to know that he's gonna be coming from somewhere other than the north they could have sent everyone here but he's getting very aggressive he's peaking the north Dr. Sean nah down he goes. Line on you. He could smell it. <laughs> hey, he's happy with that Master Gwyn. Now, happy with the Master Gwyn on Quarantine. On this objective, it can be a mixed bag. Depending on the defense, it can be uh, it can be a smooth run. Or it can be an absolute disaster. It all depends on the team you're playing. And in this case, it uh, certainly worked out in the favor of Space Force. I gotta say, I'm still unsure as to who could possibly win this series here. As I said on the first map, when we were tied up 2 2, you know, it was going to be a very tight series indeed, and uh, well, it's certainly still looking like a tight series. We are hopping into the second round of quarantine. But man, neither team's giving the eye at the other any distance at all. Absolutely no distance. And with these smokes, if they're on point, they stand to. Have a good time crossing over. That one went absolutely miles. I don't know whose arm that was because that was phenomenal. So far, it's actually totally useless. Straight on top of the roof. Sad times. But driver of the car is going to cross over regardless. No problems. It's going to be a mainly north push here. A full northern push. 
Oh no, there's actually one member in the south. One member in the south. And Lion High is most likely going to be absolutely dominated by the full brunt of Silent But Deadly very shortly. Unless they don't clear this northern side enough, there is one member approaching the white truck here. They're going to be at opposite ends of each other and miss some, miss each other? They're going to be at opposite ends of the truck and miss each other. No way. No way. They can't allow this. Oh, Lionheart gave away his position. He saw them, but they didn't see each other. Only Lionheart has the advantage here. He sees him moving along. Gets one, gets two. Going to be looking for a third. There's one at the base of the building. He's not going to expect him, though. He only thinks there's going to be two on the north here. But he whisks the shots, but Dr. Sean takes him down regardless. A good start for Space Force, though not quite as ideal as they had hoped. One member in the south is going to have a hard time from the wing. But potentially, he could take down the driver of car. He just has to expose himself a little bit, just a little bit. That was Enigma taking down Honeyhoff on the objective there. Driver of car is certainly going to be looking for an Enigma now, taking down a member on the objective from the wing. The classic tactic for this objective. Surprisingly, Enigma is being very cautious of peeking over here. I thought he'd be a little bit more aggressive with it, but he knows that someone's going to be looking over here to try and take him down, that being driver of car especially. The structure is going to be looking for Dr. Sean, and it's going to be a trade between the two. There's an advantage for Space Force, so they have that revive possible, and it's very much not possible for Silent but Deadly. And Bear Grylls is getting very close to the objective here. If Diesel tries to go for it, it's going to be a bad time. But he, he ducks back in cover just a second too early. He's watching the angle again. He'll crotch him on the cross back. There we go. He needs to finish him off, though. It's going to be a double revive. There we go, he gets him up. Beacon out again. They've seen him and Diesel takes him down. That nice prone LMG play. Now we're just left with Enigma on that south side. Almost a team kill there. Would have been less than ideal if that popped out just then. I think Enigma is going to just wait for them. Wait for them to try and push the wing and get impatient. Or just peek out on the objective, then you'll be able to see them both. Ravrovkar has returned to his former location. That is definitely going to be a big, dangerous one. For I think all parties involved here. Ravrovkar, very exposed position in Enigma. It's going to be known by Joy of Khan. and I don't think it'll expect someone to still be in that location. So maybe this is the Space Force's advantage that uh, Joy of Khan has returned to his former area. Haunting the enemy team in his mind. Trying to call for them to poke their heads out. Waiting. He refuses to make the first move, and that may be a big issue as the time rapidly runs down, coming from three minutes now down to one minute 35 seconds. He's got to start making the move relatively soon. He knows how much time's left. He's not spooked. I was just about to complain, but he knows. And he knows. There you go. He knows it's just hit one minute 30. And he's starting to roll out now. A random nade pops off on objective from Space Force for unknown reasons. And driver of car is still in his position. Unyielding. And they should be able to spot him, but driver of car spots him first. Who's going to get the shots though? Who's going to be more accurate? I expect that's going to be Enigma. He's trained on that corner. And it's actually, yeah, it is Enigma who wins out there though. I think there are some more shots coming from the objective. 54 seconds remaining. It's not enough. And the cover is also lacking as Destructor picks off Enigma and that long round is ended with a Space Force win so far 
looking strong on this map. Lionheart on this map he's been doing well four on one so far nobody quite able to match him in terms of kills quite yet and uh, the kills he's gotten have been pretty vital picks stopping the north push uh, on this round on the previous round I can't remember exactly who he did pick off I imagine it was uh, yes it was some defenders on the center on the objective I believe just from memory the who knows it's entirely possible he picked off people on the north instead on both rounds you never know well you probably know you are watching and paying much closer attention than uh i was on i imagine click those double kills the quad kills enigma's quad kill on the uh, first map was certainly a very nice move We are now hopping in to the third round of this second map, a little bit of a uh, break there. Imagine there were some planning and some possible technical difficulties on the side of uh, either Space Force or Silent but Deadly, but all is resolved now. Whatever it was, whatever was happening has finished and we are ready to go in. We are in fact already in this round. And it's going to be the slow spawn for Space Force here. It's going to be the center burning objective and that crater spawn in the northeast. I've got a hell of a long way to run here. Uh, we can't rush this. This is burning. It's going to be the two men squad moving up on the northern side. Do you have two smokes? Because I'd like to double smoke this. Smoke out. Now, it's only throwing one smoke. Diesel's request for two smokes are not going to be satisfied. Unfortunate. But the move from Lionheart and the uh, driver of car is proceeding pretty smoothly so far. Oh wow, Bear Grylls. The four times, that's definitely a Bear Grylls move right there. I think uh, he and possibly two others are the only members I know of any team in the league or any division to actually use the four times scope. Though I, apparently I've heard they are better than they were previously. 
But I do not know if that claim is uh, actually verified. They do appear to be a little bit better, though. On the uh, a few occasions I've used them. You can see him really zooming in there. He really wants us kill. He's scanning the gas, sta uh, the gas station, the, uh, the cement trucks. He wants that ravenous. Push in the north is proceeding as planned. There is a nice semicircle formation as they continue to check, clear, and secure that northern edge of quarantine. But so far, everything on the side of Silent But Deadly is focused on the objective and to the south. The only one not really on the objective or to the south is that, uh, I believe that is the structure's position in the western courtyard there, just looking over towards the far west side of the map. Oh no, it's Dark Tunnel. It's one of the three Ds, and I'm getting them all confused. You have no more than two Ds in your team's names at one time. Or it, get too, uh, it gets too confusing. You see, I'm already fumbling my words after just thinking of the 3D teams. In fact, it's not the 3D teams. They're on the opposite side. It's... Oh dear. A little bit of a hitch there, but we're all good. Suppressive fire made my PC slightly unhappy for but a moment. But we're all good so far. Solemn Deadly. Ah, oh, that'll be the hitch. That was a drop on the objective. From a member of Silent But Deadly. I believe that is uh, Enigma. I believe. It does seem like a very Enigma position to take. At the very least, it's certainly not 4Q. I don't know Enigma's in the far south. That must have been uh, someone else. I can't remember the name, but that's certainly no longer there. Rest in peace. Oh, that was a nice long-range shot. The G36 Cobra Red Dot from the south wing to the far north. Absolute filth. And Dark Tunnel is starting to get engaged here as well. He thinks he got one, but in fact, everyone is still up on that far west side. And Lionheart's going to be the one to take him down. One down. So far, there doesn't seem to be much movement from Silent But Deadly for the rotations, but now they are coming in back to the objective. That second kill really sparked him into motion there. This is certainly less than ideal. A drop and players going down on Silent But Deadly. Side Diesel picks off Enigma. That is a, a hell of a position to take on the southeast. Proning on the dunes. He's not going to be able to find 4Q right now. This is his final stand. The final stand for 4Q is going to be a big, big event here. He cannot allow a cap under any circumstances, and if he loses this round, it's going to be a 3-0 advantage for Space Force. Here he goes, running on the open 4Q. Immediately decimated. Really surprising Lionheart VR there. Running out up in the open. Did not expect it. The Space Force, they're going 3 up, and uh, things are looking very good for them so far. Potentially, they're going to be looking for a uh, totally dominating 4-0 victory on Quarantine.
And here we go, hopping into what could be the final round of the second map here. This is the, not the second, not the third, but the fourth round of Space Horse versus Silent But Deadly. We're all the other way around, and we're on the second map here. Move fast, move fast, coming out from Enigma there. They're looking to speed through. Don't stop, don't stop. They they are going to go straight in, I think. Let's just follow this from start to finish. So I far the standard northern rollout for this objective for that spawn. It is the exact same spawn as Space Force got last round, and this could be a big tide turn if a uh, silent but deadly happened last map with that super aggressive rush straight on the objective that even i missed until the second it happens hoarding nades coming out to the roof no one on space force is going to be here to receive those grenades as they all nestled on the objective to the south and actually no no one on the south they're all to the west or on the objective this is a, a somewhat similar defense to what uh silent but deadly was doing just last round and clearly it didn't work out so well so they did lose that so far silent but deadly is proceeding nice and quiet nice and quiet and bare grills to be clear there have been no crosses to the south right no crosses to the south, that would be correct, Lionheart. Didn't even see Destructor. Or other Bear Grylls. It's the B's and the D's, I'm getting very confused with players during this match. Yeah, he just barely missed him, looking the wrong way. The Bear Grylls didn't match to spot him now. Just behind the wall though, he's at a massive disadvantage with the tiny cover of this rooftop. And if a nade comes out, it could be solid. There we go, it comes out. It's totally off target. Was that 4Q dropping a uh, drum mag for Bear Grylls, or what was that? I can't quite tell. Did he drop a nade or something? No, there's no normal nades on his chest. I guess he must have accidentally dropped one of his max. That's certainly not what you want to happen when you're in this kind of a uh, tense scenario. And this, this spacing is also very dangerous. One nade coming out from uh, Center House in a particularly spectacular parabola. Be very bad news indeed for Silent But Deadly. They could lose three, more likely two. Car's being pretty aggressive peeking out here. Dr. Sean should be able to see him. Now, there appears to be a cast aside bug. Please don't look at that. We will just. Oh dear. What is going on there? Don't look at it. Everything's fine. But yeah, he should be able to see him if Driver Card does another aggressive move like he did previously, just walking about on the objective. While well, things are being quiet, he dumps the smoke straight, straight into the ditch. That's unfortunate. The green one, though, is on target. No. Oh. Maybe pointing in the wrong direction, not quite smoking out where he wanted to smoke out. Although Lionheart did pick off Bear Grylls on the, uh, I believe that was the rooftop area. Diesel is aware of Dr. Sean's location. And the suppressive fire from Dark Tunnel did almost take down Destructor, I believe. Borku did take down Destructor, finally got too aggressive moving around that southwest side. And Dr. Sean, he should just barely be able to see... Oh, he, just, he just saw the flash of black on the objective. Didn't quite manage to kind of trigger that as an enemy. Though he knows there's someone just around this corner to his left. Just around this this cinder block wall, as I'll call it. Though it's not cinder block at all. It's made out of a similar material, though. It's just concrete. He did see driver of car. Now the objective only has one member remaining. Is Dr. Sean going to be able to catch the man around the corner? No, Diesel is more ready for Dr. Sean coming around the corner. There is more shots from Lionheart. There's a lot of aggression centered on that trench right now, and there is nobody coming down from base of roof, surprisingly. 
Everyone is focused on this right now, but here comes Forkio. I think he's going to be the one to cross the street and uh, do the main bulk of aggression here. Oh, Forkio has spotted him. Enigma is also in the streets, moving out across Diesel, though. Didn't match to spot him. Surprisingly, uh, Dark Tunnel isn't looking under the fuselage to take down Diesel. Maybe he knows he can't quite get the angle. Forkio has managed to cross now. He's going to be looking for the kill on him. He saw him just there. He sees him again. He sees him again. He gets the shots and takes him down. Now it's a 2v2 scenario. Both of them are on the objective, however. Or rather, it appears that was a drop for Space Force. And now it's a 2v1. Silent but Deadly having that man advantage. He's going to be coming for this objective very soon. He's going to be aware that he's going to be on the wall cover instead. Here he goes. He sees him. Takes him down. Silent but Deadly finally put themselves on the board for quarantine and Fulker I thought got taken down the very end there luckily not no team kills staying in the record for Sign of a Deadly today even in jest see from Cushberry's just his commenting chat there this is looking like the third map will be the decider well that third map may be we can uh, maybe talk about now so we have three maps four maps available snow peak and tanker band they're out so we have downfall we have suburbia we have uh, one more map that I can't quite get the name of I think maybe not yeah, for the final map, we have either Downfall or we have Suburbia. Oh no, Subway. Downfall, Suburbia, and Subway. Those are the three that I was thinking of. So, Subway, I just think that's getting picked. That would be absolutely mad. So, Subway's out. We have Downfall. Nice long range. Silent but Deadly will probably like it. And that is their map pick, so I imagine it will be picked. However, they do like Suburbia as well. It's their most played map so far, though not necessarily meaning they played either they picked it or they uh, won the map, just that they played it the most so far this season in their like four matches or so. I think it's going to be a, a downfall. That's what I'm thinking. I'm feeling the downfall pick from Silent But Deadly. There you go. That's my, that's my official VRML uh, match prediction for the maps.
There we go, a little bit behind schedule, but you can hear the beep starting off there. And we're going to be going into, again, what could be still the final round of this second map here. The fifth round, in fact, overall for the second map. And uh, I, I can't do the quick maths in my head for what this could be overall. I believe this is, what, five to six? Five to seven? Five to eight? With Space Force taking that advantage. Maths are not quite quick in my head, but with this spawn, Space Force are going to have a hard time on the north there. Silent Bedelli are going to be more than aware of their location here, and potentially. No, they're taking the uh, crater path rather than cutting across. Cutting across, in fact. So Dr. Sean is not going to be able to see anyone. No, he's going to move up aggressively, and potentially that could pay off big time. And is he going to rush them? No way. Lionheart took down 4Q there. Refrag possibly coming out. Yeah, double refrag. Enigma taking down Diesel and Dark Tunnel taking down Driver of Car. There is still two members up in that northeast side. And Dr. Sean's going to totally box them in. There is no hope of escape for them right now. But if he peeks around this corner, it's going to be bad news. He has to know. He doesn't know. He looks just the wrong way at the wrong time and gets taken down because of it. Very unfortunate. That's always the way with Onward. Oh, but Enigma on that south side takes down Honey Half on the uh, the center east two-story area. And now he's going to be the one to box in the members of Space Force in uh, in Dr. Sean's stead. Oh, no. They're getting too aggressive. Bear Girl gets taken down by Destructor Enigma, though. He does pick up Lionheart finally, and but we are left in a 1v2 situation in Dark Tunnel. Takes down Destructor, wraps his round up very quickly in just a minute and a half. And that is it for Space Force, that round of potentially. Are we going to see the same thing that we saw on the first map? Is this going to be a comeback cap for Silent But Deadly? I'm feeling it. I'm really feeling it. it's the Western Courtyard objective coming up next. It's 6-6 six, six, tied overall. We're on the second map and a cap for the comeback on the second map to win the series is entirely possible. Entirely possible for Space Force. Oh, for, not for Space Force. The Space Force, they, they're not going to come back here. But Silent but Deadly, very much possible. Starting off again with this, yet again, I don't know how many times I've said it, but yet again, what could be the final round of this second map here, regardless of uh, if Space Force wins or not, we are going to go to that third map for the MMR, if not the win. The Space Force, they do not want to lose this. If they lose this map, it's all over for them. They cannot allow a cap under any circumstances, so they're going to do that with all of their power. Because this is the same kind of situation that uh, Sin is uh, so the surprise that Silent but Deadly put Space Force in last time round on Bazaar. And it came with a comeback. It was well, it wasn't really a comeback. It was two two. Space Force took the next round. It was three two. Now they came in with a super aggressive cap coming out, and it was beautiful. Sorry for blowing into the mic there. I got a little bit too excited. Basically, some ammo get burned immediately. There we go, a lot of pre-fire. An absolute ton of pre-fire. Mmm. 
Space Force are definitely reluctant to peek out. They are absolutely terrified, I think. And the same can be said for Silent but Deadly, because they know if they lose this round, it's all over for the Marvel Space Force. They still have a round of mistakes that they can make before things get incredibly dire. Ooh, that bullet hit right in front of the line of VR. It's a miracle he's still alive, really. An absolute miracle. And potentially that will allow him, that miracle, to continue to get eyes on this roof and maybe even take down 4Q. He's being mighty aggressive with his head peeking out. And you can see the dust come straight off of the AC unit as that bullet narrowly misses his head by literally a centimeter or an inch or whatever you want to uh, call that approximate unit of distance. Fun. No one's really making any moves. They're all looking for a pick. A pick before all else. However, neither of them are wanting to give that pick up. None of them are really peeking, except for that aggressive Bear Grylls move. But well, I think that's just Bear Grylls being Bear Grylls. Looks like he's going to be going for that kind of uh, the ditch area. The area where some people have uh, been trapped and died in Onward Patch's past. This is definitely their move. It's nice, slow, coordinated. Three minutes remaining. They have time. The only big issue for them right now is Diesel's location. If Diesel goes down, it's good news for the objective push. Bear Grylls made a lot of noise there. He could kill both of them. He did. Bear Grylls being aggressive caused Diesel to peek up and takes down both of them. Though he did lose his life in the trade between him and Enigma. That's unfortunate for all parties involved, I think. Oh dear. But the pre-forest coming out from Dark Tunnel. That's going to most likely allow both Bear Grylls, or rather not Bear Grylls, he's long dead, but Dr. Sean to snake his way across. This is absolutely mad. This is mad. This should not work. How can this work? This, this shouldn't be possible. This isn't right. You can't be allowed to snake across like this. Nobody's, nobody has any idea he could actually get a cap. If he gets a cap, it's... It's the best play I've ever seen in Onward history. But it all relies on driver of car not peaking at all. There has to be suppression on the objective, and it has to be heavy. They get the pick! Yes! But no, that's going to cause Honeyhalf to rotate over and get the... Uh, that's going to cause him to rotate over and get the revive! No! That one down may have just cost Silent But Deadly the cap. Unless Space Force, for some reason, don't go for the revive. They have to go for this revive right now. No. No. He's putting the code in. No. He's going to get it. No. Oh, I can't believe it. Okay. Best play in Onward history. Of the snake across the North Street to get the cap under an oblivious enemy to make a 3-0 comeback. That is unbelievable. Completely and utterly unbelievable. Wow. Cyber Deli are going to be absolutely ecstatic. Two map wins. Two map wins by the sneaky fast cap well that one wasn't so fast but it's fast in my heart because it was fantastic unbelievable absolutely unbelievable i can't believe they let him cross like that i simply cannot believe that lineheart he got 10 kills there but it wasn't enough oh. Honeyhalf was in disbelief absolute disbelief that he managed to get the cap there with the one man on objective who was revivable they would have thought that he would have heard the guy approaching for the cap but the silent snake the legionnaires so the silent snake legionnaire play well it's not really legionnaires play it's just it's a silent but deadly play that's what it is that's a new name for those types of plays the long the long but the, the smooth 
the silence plays to get the cap to clutch a map. That's what we're here for. That is absolutely what we are here for. Wow. I guess we're going to have to go for the war room to discuss this next map here. Okay. Just to rehash the bands in case you forgot, we have the Snowpeak ban uh, coming out from... Whatever the team's name is, Silent But Deadly, that's really frazzled my mind, that cat. The Snowpeak ban coming out from Silent But Deadly and from Space Force, we have, of course, a tanker ban. The classic. And this third map, the third and final map for the MMR is going to be, in fact, Suburbia, despite my predictions. Interestingly. We're just going to be waiting for these teams to hop in and then we'll be ready and raising, raising, raging for this final map, the tense confrontation to wrap it up. Silent but Deadly have already won this series. However, Space Force can still crawl, crawl back some MMR. This is going to put Silent but Deadly up quite a bit in the rankings, I suspect. Though they are the same division, they're both silver, which I find surprising. And here we go. You probably heard the beeps in the background. And here we are. First round. Yeah, you did. Folks, on the next round, they're still celebrating from the previous cap. Unbelievable. Oh, they're gonna pre-fire this, they say. Oh, that's gonna be a that's gonna be a dirt. Oh, if that was a nade and a little bit further, that could have been absolute filth. But Honey Off's already in a confrontation and gets taken down immediately by Enigma. Absolutely immediately. Dr. Sean also gets taken down immediately by driver of car. And there is some serious aggression from Space Force here. And there's gonna be another one taken down. There goes Bear Grylls, the coordinated play from Space Force. This is the map they wanted. Could be a big mistake for Silent Bedelli to pick it. Enigma picks two, though, picks three. He's on an absolute tear. Just as I said that Space Force could take this, it is rapidly looking the other direction. Enigma has been absolutely shredding this series. Me, 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 me. He's going to be looking for that one remaining member of Space Force. He's absolutely oblivious. He thinks it's friendlies. But it's far from friendly. Oh no, Diesel does know. He does know. But he doesn't expect the second one coming up from behind. And there you go. Dark Tunnel takes him down. And wow. The quick action. The super quick action. To take him down immediately. Coming off of that cap. They are feeling so good. And Enigma starting with a 4-1. He's feeling even better than that. He's absolutely on cloud nine, I think. I would be. Oh, I'm very excited for the following rounds. The following rounds on this are going to be absurd, I think. That's my prediction. Absurd rounds coming up next on Onward Master League 2. I'm still reeling from that cap on uh, quarantine. Like, uh, the shock is the adrenaline, the, uh, the just the stress I'm feeling is uh, palpable. I can feel Space Force's pain here. Oh, 
Oh, watch it through uh, on the uh, on the uh, on the old phone here. Looking at the stream, that is. I can't believe he managed to do that. I absolutely can't believe it. You can see why Silent but Deadly was still celebrating, celebrating happily as we started off this first round. And yeah, make sure you clip that. That is something to go down in the history books of Onward for forever, I'd say. Here we go, the second round though. The time for celebration has passed. Space Force, they started off well, but it went badly in the end. They gotta get into a full murder mode here. No, I don't think so too, yeah. Uh, it's just this game is fucked. It's not, not any cheating, it's just game. Harsh words from Honey Half. I know what these callouts are from Silent but Deadly. I think they were just prepping for some center spray. Bear Grylls, he, I think he just dodged death by pure luck. That wasn't even any distance, that was just pure luck. The bullets trace an outline around him. That nade also just a little bit too fast to the left of that big, the big nade on the tank takes two diesel and honey half. Absolutely dominated by that beautiful nade from, I believe that was Dr. Sean. He's getting the credit, Dr. Sean. Fantastic. The Dark Tunnel was taken down. Bear Girls, I think, is going to be rushing this in the house. Dr. Sean, go for the cap. Denied. Heidi Half goes down. 4Q nades himself. Bear Girls takes down Driver Car. Goes upstairs. Takes down Lionheart as well. Taking down two. He has to confirm that kill. Yeah, there he does. And now there are three remaining members on the tank. But Enigma takes one. He's got to be looking for another in the red smoke. He's throwing the red smoke. He's really ready to get. He doesn't notice. Diesel walks straight past Enigma. There's one remaining member on the other side of the sandbag, but Enigma misses him. And he gets taken down. Now we're just left in a 1v1 a revive possible for Silent but Deadly. They need this revive. If they get this revive, it's they can take down Destructor for sure. Absolutely they can. The stress that the structure is facing is probably extreme right now. But I wonder if Bear Grylls is going to be going for the cap onto 4Q here. Just a moment, make sure to clip your favourite moments as the pop-up says. Yeah, he is going for the revive here. That is the correct move, I feel. He knows where 4Q is. Needs that backup. He's got the syringe. He's having trouble with his gun. For some reason. Oh, is that the issue? Yeah, Bear Grylls has been hit and he has no syringe on him. So he's moving at a snail's pace. That was a, a balance thing introduced in the more recent update, I believe. Unless he's just crouching weirdly. I think he's just crouching weirdly, actually. Yeah, he's going to get the revive onto 4Q. Very nice. Now it's that 2v1 situation. This is looking good for Silent But Deadly. Very good. Getting spooked though. He's turning around. Silent but deadly, they should know where he is if they are thinking about this objective in the right way for the 1v2 situation. He obviously, uh, they obviously won't know that uh, he's in this specific location, but he know they should know that there's only a few locations you can beat to defend this objective. That's this area. And they do know. The structure is angry. He trades with Bear Grylls. And that's two points now. Two points to Silent But Deadly. And they are two points up and uh, this is not looking good. Not looking good for Space Force. Still have Enigma going six and two. That's unbelievable. And they actually went for a cap here. They're really using the momentum well here. Really, really well. It's amazing. The momentum in Onward is a very important thing. Just being able to demoralize your enemies and just continue to take that demoralization and follow through. They think, ah, oh, we got capped on. It's going bad. Go to the next map. You win that and the enemy, even if 
even if you don't want it, even if it's a 1v1, as long as it's incredibly close, and as long as it's not a uh, landslide victory for the opposing team, you're going to continue to demoralize them, and that is the strong, the strongest power. Some teams are immune to it. Uh, uh, probably Lemon Squad, just Caltrop. Um, let's see what else. Other teams I can think of, probably Globochem. Beginners also, they seem to be immune to that. I think that's the key things to a, uh, a good team. It's just, it's impossible to tilt. It's just, it's just not physically possible. Caltrop is a, a, a force on Lemon Squad to make sure that doesn't happen. And then you've got Globo being Globo and Beginners being Beginners. Number one and number two teams in the, uh, in the world for a reason. We're going into the third round. going for that center house I have a feeling this is going to turn out badly for somebody I don't quite know how I'm just getting that feeling this is going to turn out badly for someone this entire push potentially this is a curse a curse I've played upon Space Force be warned Space Force there are foul magics afoot Did manage to see. Was that a trade? How did that? Oh, 4Q wasn't even peeking over, and Diesel knew to fire through. He must have seen the muzzle flash coming out from the bush there. And he is revival as well, so that is excellent. Absolutely excellent for Space Force. They have to confirm that kill. If the nade comes over from Silent But Deadly, it's going to be absolutely devastating news. Devastating news delivered in the form of a uh, high explosive fragmentation device or oh, all three grouped up someone on silent but deadly has to just think hey i should throw a nade over at the center right now that'd be a good time but no the moment has passed space force they they could clutch this back i think now things are starting to look smoother they've got their first pick the smokes are starting to come out along with nades and i think they can do it i really think they can Potentially, this is the time now on the third map of that beautiful nade. Goes a little bit too far. Can't quite get Dr. Sean. And what is this position from Enigma? This is These are strange positions, but it's a good one, though. We've got a nade right in front of him that he can throw over. Most likely going to be using that to take down either Destructor or Honey Half very soon. You can still see the objective. So that's solid. These are going to be coming around dominated by Enigma immediately. I don't think anyone on the Space Force is going to twig that he's currently at this location either. It's a very unorthodox one. Though he is talking quite loudly from it. Here it comes, a nade. It goes over. It's taking down the structure. There he goes. Now it's just Honey Half left up on that east side. There is sprays coming from Driver of, Har uh, driver of Car, though. Line Hub goes down as well as he tries to cross. Oh, driving the car, he's spraying through the bush to try and take him down, but he just doesn't quite expect the location. Now it's just Honey Half, but he's coming around. He's going to take down Enigma. There he goes, takes down Enigma, but Dr. Sean is at the ready. And this third map is looking silent. But Deadly's territory very strongly. Absolutely fantastic plays coming out from both of these teams here, but especially Silent but Deadly. These plays have been very, very impressive all the way through these the series here.
Here we go. I think this is going to be the final round. I think this is it for Space Force on this final map. And for this series as well. It's looking to go dominatingly in the favour of Silent but Deadly. A very, very close two first maps that Silent but Deadly very almost lost. Their second cap was already utterly miraculous. But this final map, I don't know whether if it's exactly due to the demoralisation from that cap. If it's just due to Silent but Deadly being really strong on the suburbia who knows but it's certainly going their way and it's looking to be a 4 and 0 oh. we we'll just have to see though this round is playing out and it's playing out Ooh, a c4 planted there maybe not the best position a little bit further would have been better but as long as they don't see it as long as silent deadly cannot spot that c4 that could potentially snag one snag two There goes the C4. Doesn't catch anyone, however. These smokes are really good, though. Look at all these smokes. There's only about four smokes, but it crosses. It allows them to cross almost all the way over. Dark Tunnel, though, doesn't quite work out. He gets taken down. There goes Bear Grylls as well. He crosses over. Sees Driver of Car gets taken down. Dr. Sean takes down Diesel, though. Can he take down Driver of Car at the same time? He seems unaware. Enigma is actually going to be the one to take down Honey Half, though, I think. Yes, he does. Driver of Car has the pistol out. He's trying to go for it. Takes down Enigma with the 5-7. Dr. Sean seems totally oblivious to Driver of Car. Completely and utterly oblivious. Oh, he gets behind the agenda, but it's not enough. Space Force. So many kills there. So many blunders. Base Force get that round and Silent with Deadly slip up massively. Base Force, maybe we're going to see the reverse scenario. It was a silent but deadly 3-0 comeback last time. But we're going to see the Space Force 3-0 comeback this time. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling that. I'm predicting the Space Force comeback. Here we go. The Space Force comeback is going to be massive. It's going to be major. It's going to go down in the ages. At least I'm hoping. I'm really hoping for the uh, Space Force comeback here to tie out the scores, make it 11-11 or maybe 11-9 uh, or whatever the actual score adds up to. It would be 11-10. Uh, yes, 11-10 to 10 is the score they could achieve right now. And that's what I'm thinking. That is what I'm thinking is going to go on here and it's going to be a good time. There you go, you can hear the round starting bleeps as we head in for again. I feel like I've said it a thousand, hundred thousand times by now. What could be the final round of this third map of Silent But Deadly versus Space Force. Oh, there appears to be an issue. A round restart, very coordinated. They all went down the exact same second has been started. There we go. Probably no major issues for them here. We are starting back off now. Issues appear to have been resolved. Maybe just some spawning issue or something equally, equally semi-common. You don't really see it happen too often now. It happens once in Blue Moon. On the modern day patches. Oh no, I've tabbed out. 
I was about to say, look at that nice cinematic shot. I tried to get rid of the UI, and unfortunately, that was a, a tab out. Luckily, you can't see that at the very least. Mark's a little bit wonky coming out from Space Force there. Not quite ideal. Nate's also not quite ideal. The car's going to be moving in quick. That push, again, not quite ideal. Potentially this round, maybe not quite ideal for Space Force. I'm going to stop saying that now, just before I get confused. It is definitely all falling apart for Space Force very quickly, though. They lost Diesel. They lost Driver of Car. They've lost two Ds in under 60 seconds. They're all watching, watching through their bushes, watching their corners, watching their doorways, much like Lionheart is currently doing. They're all watching their very nice predetermined angles on Silent Deadly's side. You know, Dark Tunnel, he's watching that stairwell. Enigma also watching the stairwell. Lionheart watching over towards Dr. Sean. I think he maybe sprayed through the bush or... No, he did not. He just saw him poking out from the other side. And Honey, I've picked up Bear Grylls. Dr. Sean was picked up as well. Burgers was just in the second floor of the Santa Hotel, Santa House rather, and uh, of course Dr. Sean was already confirmed by Lionheart, just by the tank. There was a revive poss uh, possible for Space Force over on that far western side. Now we'll bring them up to three members if they can get this, making it a nice even fight. However, that's going to be a pretty exposed revive. Wow, just trying to get aggressive moving up here. Is he going to try and get a flank? Oh no, he must have been heard. 4Q must have heard him, yeah. Oh, he's going to unpin a nade though. Tries to run around, gets taken down. Now oh, it's a 2-2 two to two with a revive possible. Most likely going to bring it to a 2-3. to three. Very shortly indeed. But that center house push is going to be very difficult. Hopefully no team kill is going to come out. Yeah, he's checked his tablet. He knows. But these center house defenders are going to be the major element here. Enigma, Dark Tunnel. They're watching their angles. Their arms, hopefully, are not going to be getting tired right now. Dark, you're sticking through the wall. Move forward. Go in the bedroom. Watch he's not sticking through the wall. He's very much safe indeed. That wall is too thick to poke through they used to be they used to be able to do that in the past wow that's a good smoke that's the perfect smoke for this objective what a glorious one from Lionheart right there a second one to follow up as well there is no way dark tunnel can see a thing right now and honey half oh that nade that nade's perfect it goes down insta kills honey half the second one coming up i don't know where it went it took down nigma also in an insta kill it's a 1v2 dark tunnel he's the one to defend this he's the one that could make this a four to one victory a 4 to 1 victory for Silent of the Deadly. Counter nade was good, but it's not quite good enough. Lionheart does take down Dark Tunnel on that stairwell. And that's it, that round. That is it, and my phone went off. That is not a part of the round, that is just a, an external object, play no heed. But man, Enigma 10 and 5, wow. And the smokes from uh, the smokes from Lionheart there, those were absolutely perfect. I can't believe he managed to get such a dead-on one straight, straight onto the window. I wouldn't call it the wind soap window sill, but the uh, the roof of the patio. That was absolutely perfect. Now, that wasn't the last round. This is maybe looking like a Space Force comeback, but I think this round, again, Silent But Deadly are going to go on their ultra-aggressive rush. That's what I'm feeling. They're going to go the aggression. They're going to go straight in. They're going to take down Space Force with the same valor and uh, determination that they have in the previous rounds, and uh, I feel that would be it. I'm feeling that's going to be it for the, the next round. Here. That's my official prediction. I was back in the Space Force comeback, and uh, the prediction has changed. The prediction is a, a powerful tool. It must be used evenly. It must be used fairly. He's just taking a little bit of a sleep on the floor. Taking his, uh, his three nap. 
<laughs> Make sure they're nice and relaxed for this round. Oh, if a nade comes centre, this will be disgusting. This is the hard rush. This is the hard rush. If anyone pre fires it's bad news. And they comes out. C4 comes out. Lionheart takes down one, two, three, four. Lionheart takes down four. It's one left. Oh, the nade from Enigma backfires massively. They are going to get the revives. And they did take down uh, Lionheart, at the very least, in a trade. But it's not going to be enough, I don't think. That push has been stopped. This is looking like it could go 3-3. Three, three. It could go 3-3. Three, three, and that's going to be bad news. Walkie does get revived. He can't get the gun out in time. Diesel misses his shot somehow as well. But Diesel is throwing that nade out. It's a good one. It's a perfect one. It insta kills. And there goes for Diesel, though. He gets taken down. Not quite good enough to take down more than one. This is a 3 to 2. Make that a 2 to 3. Driver of car takes down Bear Grylls. But Bear Grylls takes down Driver of car in that nice trade. And we are left with a 1 to 2 scenario. 1 to 1. Oh, no! He just saw him. I thought I thought it was just going to go for the shots, but it was not to be. A yeah, one to one, going the way of Space Force. The comeback is real. From Owen three, now at the three three. That Lionheart spray at the center was absolutely killer. Absolutely killer. Now this is the one. This is all to play for. Except for the series. The series is already silent but deadly. However, the MMR is going to be rather minor if Space Force can pull this back. If they pull this back and if they make it a 2-1 to one overall map wins, then they can do it. They can do it. They can do it. They can make this come back on Suburbia. They can ease that MMR loss substantially. We just have to hope. Have your hope, people. Here we go, we're hopping in. This is, in fact, guaranteed the final round of Space Force versus Silent But Deadly, or Space Force, or rather Silent But Deadly versus Space Force. I wanna go the right way round. <laughs> Throwing away the pistols, they don't like them. Poor Makarov. Oh, well, that's actually, he spent, he spent points on that. That's a USP, the madman. Or it's actually a 5.7, that's close enough. They replaced the USB with the 5.7 that is uh, canon in the Omni universe, I guess. They're the same thing. Ooh, they have already lost a member early on the side of Silent but Deadly. Not looking good for them already. Space Force, are, they, they've, they've returned to their former uh, the Valor of the first two maps. They've got back in their pace, they know how they like to play Suburbia, and they are playing it how they want to. Absolutely no fear. Somehow Diesel hasn't been spotted by Bear Girls yet. Oh, the tree blocks the shots. The tree just barely blocks the shots. That's so unfortunate. And Dr. Sean's just spraying into the smoke, hoping for someone. Honey Half trying to return fire, hoping for a lucky shot through the smoke. But he's just not getting it. The Lionheart did pick up Dark Tunnel in that center kind of building. And Destructive picks up Lionheart. No. The push could just fall apart because of that. Bear Grylls is on the major flank as well. If this flank pulls through, the entire push of Space Force could be shut down. Completely and utterly shut down. He just needs to move fast because Space Force is rapidly moving through the gardens. 4Q picked up Diesel, the nice super tight angle. Though he doesn't seem aware there are people moving behind him. Got to be so cautious. Bear Grylls is on the flank. He takes down Honey Half. He's going to see the other one. He saw a move, I think. He's going to get some better cover. Come around the flank. This is the correct move. Here he comes. He's got to be so cautious of the bushes. Tracking's kind of freaking out a little bit, but that's okay. Will he expect Destructor to be on the other side of the fence? He's going to be coming around. He's going to be at the disadvantage. But, okay. Somehow it's a trade there. I don't understand how, but that's, that's how the game decided it. Okay. 
Now it's just this, uh, the Nash just driver up car against Forku and Dr. Sean. He's coming in a very, very good location. He will be able to shoot the back of Dr. Sean. He won't expect him to be here. However, Forku will be on the ready. Does he have a grenade? Yes, he does. So he once these shots come out from driver of car, he will be able to throw a nade over there. But Dr. Sean's coming around. He seems to know. He seems to know and he takes him down. And that is the series going solidly to the way of silence but deadly. A 3-0 comeback almost from Space Force. A 3-0 win in maps for silent but deadly. A fantastic series of plays from both teams here. The caps from silent but deadly. The final last ditch comeback from Space Force, though it wasn't quite enough. Absolutely beautiful. A fantastic series there. Absolutely glorious. I think that some of that's going to be a nade of the week for uh, for the VR respawn show, that's for sure. Not nade of the week, a uh, play of the week, rather. Those caps, absolutely glorious. And those rushes from Enigma, also fantastic. Um, that's going to be it from me today and from the vrml today we have more matches coming up tomorrow and the day after saturday and sunday back-to-back -back casts got plenty coming that's it for silent but deadly and space force today if you want more info on the vr master league you can of course go to vrmasterleague.com slash onward where you can learn all sorts of things sign up register and the like there's also the onward discord where you can uh, talk to people we're friendly i promise i promise don't worry so that'll be it from today Goodbye, and uh, hopefully we'll see you in the following casts.